Hello students, we have unit 5 vector calculus and the topic is Gauss Divergence Theorem, a very important theorem to come across in this unit. So we start with this or let's have the outline. Uh, first we have the introduction of Gauss Divergence Theorem, then the statement and then the working procedure and then followed by problems. Let's have the introduction. In this section, we are going to relate surface integrals to triple integrals. So, you should know what is Gauss Divergence Theorem. Basically, Gauss Divergence Theorem transforms a volume integral into a surface integral of any closed surface. So, we will find out the volume of the particular solid and which will be equated to the sum of the surfaces surrounding the particular volume. So, the divergence theorem is an important result for the math mathematics of physics and engineering, in particular in the field of electrostatics and fluid dynamics. Let's have the theorem of Gauss divergence. Gauss divergence theorem states that the volume integral of the divergence of a vector f vector taken over any volume f, sorry v, is equal to the surface integral of v taken over the closed surface capital S surrounding the volume V and where N cap is the outward draw normal. This is very important. You should try to have a clear picture about this N cap. N cap is always the outward drawn normal. You can have a look at the picture. This is a closed object and we are going to find the volume of that and just depending on this how many surfaces it is having. The top surface 1 and the surface 2 and the bottom surface 3 and the side surface 4 and front and back. So, you will be totally having 6 surfaces for a parallelopiped or a cuboid or a cube whatever it is. So, that surface the sum of all the 6 surfaces will be equal to the volume of this particular solid wherein cap is the outward drawn normal. Uh, let's start with the problems. So, first let's start with the defending a Gauss divergence theorem. So, defending in the sense we have to prove the Gauss divergence theorem that we have to prove that left hand side is equal to the right hand side and the surface integral is equal to the volume integral. Given a cube with dimensions x is varying between 0 to a and y is varying between 0 to b and z is varying between 0 to c with f vector is equal to x square minus y z i vector minus plus y z sorry y square minus z x j vector plus z square minus x y k vector. So now how we were to start Gauss divergence theorem procedure is the same. If you thoroughly study one problem, it is going to reflect for any type of problem you can handle the Gauss divergence theorem, provided you are familiarized with the theorem. And also for the same vector, if you're going to give, if I'm going to give another problem, I can give you the same vector, but I can change the dimensions. So automatically your answer will get zero. Uh, sorry, your answer will be differing. Likewise, it depends upon the dimension as well as the vector to get the answer. So, first let's start with the Gauss divergence theorem. In my introduction video of vectors, you know how to take a dot product. Now, we take a cross product. So, you know what is del. So, referring to what is del, i vector dou by dou x plus j vector dou by dou y plus k vector dou by dou z. I hope everyone remembers the other name for del. Can you just uh, rem uh, just Recap, it is called as a vector differential operator. So, you are going to take the dot product and you are getting it as 2x plus 2y plus 2z. So, substituting that del dot f vector, first I am doing my right hand side. So, substituting that, taking two outside two common, I have the limits as 0 to a, 0 to b and 0 to c. Integrating, I will be getting the answer as abc into a plus b plus c. You know how to evaluate a volume integration. If not, you please refer to the volume integral PPT presentation. And now let's move on to the left hand side. As I told you, in left hand side, in a parallel paper, how many surfaces are there? Totally 6 surfaces are there. So, what will I do? For each and every surface, I will calculate the surface integral. And finally, I got to add up everything so that I get my left hand side. What should I get for my left hand side? The answer what I got in the previous slide. A, B, C of A plus B plus C. That value I will be getting as my surface integral value. So, so, just observe what is my surface integral? F vector taken. That is the given vector taken with the dot product of n cap dS. 
you should know how to calculate the n cap it's very easy to calculate n cap okay so always remember when your x when you are taking the x value x is equal to a and x is equal to 0 and then you'll go for y is equal to b and y equal to 0 and next you'll be going to z equal to c and z equal to 0 so you will be variating six surfaces so whenever you are considering the x surface so i will just split up the problem when whenever you are considering the x surface your order of differentiation or your order of integral will be dy dz so dy dz so whenever you are considering y what will be the dx dz okay and can you just have a guess for z so whenever you are considering z you will be having dx dy so automatically if this is the symmetry known to you and accordingly the limits will change and also take the end cap so always remember when x whenever you are taking x as your value or x as your surface first thing you have to remember is the integral will be done with respect to dy dz and the vector will be i vector if it is positive side it's going to be i vector if it's going to be the negative of that side opposite of that it's going to be minus i vector same way for y for y surface again i'm reminding you the integral order is dx dz and in the positive side it will be j vector and in the negative side it's going to be minus j vector in the similar fashion when you're having z is equal to c when you're taking that value z the integral value will be dx dy and when it's positive it's going to be k vector here and when it's going to be negative or the opposite side of that it's going to be minus k vector if you know that it's going to be just as simple as anything so take the f vector take the dot product between f vector and the n cap uh, take the dot product because if your dot product you're going to take only i vector will be remaining take that there you have the order as dy dz integrated over 0 to c 0 to v you get an answer likewise you do it for surface 2 and surface s3 s3 coming you have to take j vector the j vector term alone will be existing substituting and uh, i'm sorry just skip the slide okay so we have six surfaces here and so when we take the cross dot product between that vector and k vector you'll be getting in the negative of it so out of six terms you will be getting three terms as negative terms and the four uh, and the other three terms as a positive terms depending upon the vector signs so actually i got all the three values all the six values added up together i'll be i'm getting the value as a b c into a plus b a plus b plus c okay thank you so much